We begin our report with John Durham, the special counsel appointed in Donald Trump's administration to review the investigation of the former president's ties to Russia. He issued a long-awaited report Monday at more than 300 pages and the product of 480 interviews and the review of 6 million pages the report criticized. The FBI for investigating the 2016 Trump campaign saying the Bureau and the Justice Department, quote, failed to uphold their important mission of strict fidelity to the law. Durham did not bring any charges. The special counsel previously pursued prosecutions of just three people, two of whom were acquitted. The third, a former FBI lawyer, pleaded guilty to making a false statement. Catherine Herridge has the latest from Washington. Almost four years to the day since he started his investigation, special counsel John Durham says the FBI used unverified information when it opened the investigation into candidate Trump's alleged ties to Russia in 2016. Durham concludes senior FBI personnel displayed a serious lack of analytical rigor and relied on investigative leads provided or funded by Trump's political opponents. Trump railed repeatedly against the FBI investigation. Uh, there was absolutely spying into my campaign. The FBI expanded its Russia probe, known as Crossfire Hurricane, based partly on information from Christopher Steele. Steele, a former British spy, put together research documents alleging possible misconduct between then-candidate Donald Trump and Russia. Durham found that investigators did not and could not corroborate any of the substantive allegations contained in the Steele reporting. There were multiple, systematic, efforts to interfere in our election. The investigation became special counsel Mueller's probe. He did not find sufficient evidence of collusion between Trump and Russia. While Durham acknowledges the FBI was obligated to examine the Russia allegations, he's extremely critical of the Bureau's investigative work. In response, the FBI says it's already undertaken major reforms to address the shortcomings raised by Durham. This has been a big black guy for a lot of the uh, federal law enforcement. Bob Anderson is a former senior FBI executive. It has been a big deal, and I hope that we have clarified all these things that have caused this problem. But in the end, I hope it never happens again. And Catherine Herridge joins me now. Catherine, in the simplest terms, what did the report say went wrong with the investigation? Well, John, one of the only recommendations from special counsel John Durham is that an office be established for what they call politically sensitive investigations. This was a politically sensitive investigation, and the bar is, is very high for the evidence. And what Durham found is that the FBI did not do its due diligence when it opened this full investigation. And every time there were red flags that came up about the evidence or the sources behind the evidence, the FBI investigators seemed to blow through it, what he described as confirmation bias, that they felt that there was evidence and it always tilted towards the likelihood of collusion with Russia. In the original mandate, Durham was authorized to investigate whether any official or employee did anything, violated any law. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, he didn't seem he didn't seem to find that didn't find any law breaking. But did he find other than confirmation bias? Did he find actual political bias if he didn't find law breaking? Well, John Durham stopped short of saying that it was personal politics that drove the investigation. But he does emphasize that he found that the FBI had disparate treatment of the Clinton campaign and the Trump campaign. The simplest example is that when they had intelligence that either foreign individuals or governments were trying to interfere or buy influence with these campaigns, they did what's called a defensive briefing with the Clinton campaign, but they did not brief the Trump campaign, so they weren't able to really have their guard up with that likelihood of election interference. All right. Catherine Herridge in Washington. Thank you, Catherine. You're welcome.